Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do an unboxing and install of the AFER adjustable plug-in driver rider backrest. This is for 1997 to 2020 touring uh, road glides, street glides, room glide, electric glides, etc. It's $69.99. Available on Amazon. I had it in two days. All right, so here's the deal. I don't want to be buying this crap off of Amazon constantly, especially since most of it's made in China, but there's nothing available. I've been to Holly dealers. I've called around. I've called around the country trying to get some of this stuff. Even helmets I just had to order online. There's just nothing available. So we're going to do an unboxing to see if this thing's worth the $60, $70. Okay, we got the instructions. Installation. So it seems a little cheesier than the, the Harley Davidson one, but I needed something. I got a trip going about five or six states, maybe I think seven states, from Long Island to Indiana. So this thing flips over. My camera angle sucks. Here we go. flips around and you can flip this around while it's on the bike all right let's just install it also included with two brackets okay this bracket is for 2009 or later and this is for 2008 or earlier so we're not gonna need this bracket so all we're gonna need is this these two and somehow they go together we'll figure it out take off the seat so this is where the instructions get a little sketchy how to put these two pieces together but it took about 10 seconds to figure it out so it's gonna go on like this so I have Torx bits sockets and T's but this is the one I carry on my bike because it pretty much fits everything it's even got a T27 on there which is the Harley Davidson equivalent of 10 millimeter Okay, the instructions say do remove these nuts, but don't remove the white plastic flanks because the bolts will fall right out. Okay, this is where the directions get a bit sketchy. So this goes underneath the plastic, yeah. Easy enough. These go here. It doesn't tell you which one goes on top and which one's on the bottom. I'm assuming this bracket goes on the bottom and these two bolt together. And then we have to adjust it. Number two problem is there's supposed to be a small cap bolt and nut for this. And it was not included. Not see, still a little big, but it'll do. It's one of my old man's tricks. Save everything in a jar and just. Okay, now that I got a position what I think is correct, I'm not gonna button anything down yet. The seat slides on like this. Doesn't seem to lock in, I'll have to, uh, looks like there's an adjustment screw for that. I'll play with that in a bit, but for now I just want fitment. So what I'm gonna do is put my seat on. I'm just gonna rest it and feel where this is. How oh, it feels like it's where it's supposed to be. 
So let's shove this in. All right. So I believe I'm in the right position. There's a lock nut right here so you can adjust the seat locking in. You turn it clockwise because this is obviously that'll fall out. So you want it kind of tight. There you go. So it doesn't fall out. So that's locked in. There's an adjustment here to determine how far you want it forward. Uh, back you on it so now that I got everything buttoned up I'm gonna play with this adjustment Let's screw into here now I got all the adjustments done I'll put the seat on for hopefully the last time Hopefully I got it adjusted the way I want. Again, this flips around. I have it more in the forward position. I like to sit forward more. So I'm gonna have, I want this right against my back. So it's locked in pretty good. I'm gonna put it at the higher height. The only thing about the hall I wanted, it flips forward when you go to get on the bike. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for people to get on. It comes with this cool little Velcro pack on the back. Not sure what you use it for. Guess you could put your weed in it. I don't smoke weed. Seems pretty solid. I'm gonna take it for a ride. I just took it for a quick test ride and it is fantastic I like it I think it's gonna be exactly what I needed for this trip so I had to do a few adjustments I stopped back at the house got some tools I'm digging it for the price 70 bucks you can't beat it, it slides right in and out I just had to do a few adjustments it'll flip around if you need to change it during the day or doing your ride so if you like what you see and you like the other videos on my channel, hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment and take it easy.